Hi, uh, good afternoon my thirsty friends. Uh, we are now in the village of uh, Volney with uh, Didier, uh, owner of uh, Domaine uh, Henri de Lagrange. Uh, thank you very much, first of all, to uh, welcome, welcome us uh, today. Uh, I have to say uh, it was kind of uh, experience to uh, come to uh, the village of uh, Volney. Um, because uh, I mean you're on the top of uh, the hill uh, at what 360 meter. Yes. So I was looking because I was looking for the uh, winery and you have the cellar which is close to the main road. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the testing room is actually on the top of the hill. So, uh, yes, that was, uh, as you say, no pain, no game. Well, I mean, uh, this one was very true. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I got the reward uh, to, uh, to, to reach the top. And uh, today we, we tried uh, some of, uh, mainly your red wine, uh, because we are in, uh, in Volney, so we tried to focus uh, a little bit on, uh, on this terroir. But please maybe introduce a bit yourself, uh, since when uh, uh, the estate uh, exists. Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious about it. Okay, so uh, welcome in Volney. I uh, own a domain uh, in Volney in Burgundy, of course, for 15 hectares. I am the sixth uh, generation, so we have uh, we know only work uh, and make wine. Surprised that we first try the Pomar Premier Cru and then we move to the Claudetian Premier Cru and uh, actually in fact uh, it's very powerful. It's uh, uh, has a very powerful tannic structure, maybe the most powerful of of uh, of, of the first uh, Cru from uh, from Volney. Maybe the one with maybe the as you mentioned. I mean you still drink 45, 47. The one which has a best aging potential. Yes, but 19, uh, 2017, uh, uh, it's ready for drink, it's wonderful, no, yeah. it's very fine, it depends on vintage. We can drink Yonk, of course, because we sell uh, 400 restaurants in France, mm -hmm. but you can edge, because in Burgundy we produce a great terroir, especially in Premier Cru. Yeah. So, after Claudie uh 200 meters, uh, uh, we have Champon. Champon, it was cru number one before 1938, but it's a red clay. Let me uh, try to, uh, to show you a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, there's a bit of light. Uh, sorry. Let me show you a little bit. This is uh, the one we had before, which is on the top of uh, the hill, over 300 meters. And now we have the Champon, uh, which is the second one. And then we have Les Centenaux, which is... Uh, uh, actually, in Meursault, or maybe Meursault, which is in Volney. So, if you produce white wine, basically, it's Meursault. If you produce red, it's Volney. And uh, yeah. yes, there was a quite a massive uh, difference <laughs> between those yeah. two wines. We work to respect the. You feel the terroir in a wine, in fact. It's not technique. Uh, Champagne is more dark fruit, dark cherry, and full wine because it's a red clay. And Vienne, we finish with a Centeno, we just produced two barrels. Um, grapes is very small, so every year this wine is so floral. Mm. You smell violet, pivoine, and tannin is very soft, very smooth. It's a, definitely a special and great wine. It's only selling in Magnum. Mm. But uh, uh, yes, uh, such a huge difference between those three wines, uh, and at the same time they are so close to each other, mm. uh, you will not believe it. Uh, they all have their own uh, character. Um, I have to say, I really fell in love with uh, Saint Nou for for his delicatesse, his elegance, his, his floral character. Almost somehow it's. Maybe also the image that we have of a Volney, you know, which is very uh, delicate, uh, yeah. rather than the Champon, which uh, uh, is a bit more loud. I mean, maybe this one also was a vintage. Yeah. Is it the, always the loudest? Because this one is kind of... Uh, in time. Also, yes. Yeah. I think, yeah, maybe to, to drink right now, the, 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 the best one would be the Saint-Nau, uh, I would say, followed by the... 
production in, and then after yeah, Champagne uh, uh, probably yes, uh, is, um, needs a bit of time to, uh, to settle down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, beautiful uh, testing. Uh, thanks for all those uh, explanations and uh, look forward uh, to uh, test uh, the wine again in uh, UAE. We have uh, the wines, I mean, I think we will get some 2019, which was actually, uh, as you say, uh, the, one, one of your favorite vintage. Yes. Very pure, fine and long, it's typical Burgundy wine. I love it. Okay, so you know. <laughs> so uh, join us uh, to love Volney. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Bye bye.